You're listening to the Laura London Fitness Show with your host, Laura London. Hi everyone, this is Laura London and welcome to another episode of the Laura London Fitness Show. Today I have with me Scott Joseph from Chimp Food. Uh, Hi Scott. Hi there. Thank you Laura. Oh, I'm so excited for you to be here today. We tried this once before and my camera broke, so here we are again. It was so good we had to come back. I know. Great. All right, well Scott, let's start. I know you have Chimp Food, but I really want to hear about Scott Joseph because I know you had a major transformation. So why don't you tell us about that? Um, for several years, I was busy just being a businessman like a lot of people, and I really got caught up with eating the wrong things and being very unhealthy. I spent a lot of too much time at the office, not enough time on the track, and uh, it's probably too much time in fast food than, uh, than I should have been eating apples and oranges. Yeah. So unfortunately, the standard American diet uh, got me to be very overweight. I mean, I was really, really overweight. I was about 265 pounds. Wow. And uh, I felt bad. I really, my back started hurting. My knees were hurting. My eyesight went really bad pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just didn't feel good at all. Uh, my, my blood cholesterol levels were high. My blood pressure was horrible. My blood glucose levels were terrible. I mean, generally I was on a fast track to uh, early death yeah. and chronic disease. Uh, you know, it was all coming. Yeah, and that's like a lot of Americans, they really are so busy doing everything else but taking care of themselves. Yeah, guilty. Yeah, so so we know you're you're not at that weight now. What yeah. what inspired or moved you to, to get in shape? Yeah, it's funny, the pain is what inspired me. You know, waking up making waking up and just not feeling good. And one day I said, That's it, I'm just not gonna do it anymore. Mm -hmm. So I tried the low sugar diet, the low carb diet, the high protein diet. There's so many of them out there. That did, those did not do any good for me. Right. And I'm only naming three, a few out of a lot. Right, right. Uh, then I went and tried the diets, yeah. uh, the Atkins diet, the South yeah. Beach diet, the Mediterranean diet, and a lot and more all diets. Books. Uh, those didn't do very good for me either. I mean, just honestly, they just weren't doing good for me. Mm -hmm. uh, so I started researching nutrition, mm -hmm. and I really thought I need to do this the right way. I wasn't feeling good, I was gaining weight, and probably like everybody, failing, just having problems. Mm -hmm. So uh, I said, I'm gonna educate myself, I'm gonna figure this out. I guess everyone's telling me to do this and do that and do that. And right. What's really the right thing? So uh, my education, self-education, uh, brought me to the next level, which unfor unfortunately, I say this in a way, a little bit, a little bit too much juicing, and a little mm -hmm. bit too much cleansing. Mm -hmm. So I juiced and juiced and juiced and juiced, mm -hmm. and I really gained weight on that. I mm -hmm. actually blew up when I was doing a lot of it. Oh wow! Um, wow. Not saying a little is good, bad, or right. ugly, but a lot of it was not good. Well, for too much me. of anything we know is never, yeah. never good. Yeah. And then the cleansing. It seemed like I would cleanse for a week or two weeks or three weeks. I'd be back on the normal diet. Yeah. I'd cleanse those back and forth. So between those two things, between the gen ju juicing mm -hmm. and the cleansing, uh, I was really a lost cause, you know, even more a little bit at that point. And I think that happens to a lot of people. They, they either go on a diet or they detox and they lose some weight and then they go back to their old habits and they may gain it back or they just keep fluctuating between yeah. like 10 to 20 pounds back and forth. You really need to just get a new diet. If your diet got you where you're at, you have to just you yeah. know, start all over sometimes. And that's what I did. So it hit me one day. Uh, it sounds a little silly, but about animals. Yes. Okay. It just came up one day about animals. You know that every single animal uh, on this earth is in good shape. Right. You know, animals generally are not obese or they're not fat. Every animal is in good shape. Right. We are the we are in, in essence an animal. Think about it: two eyes, a nose, a mouth, a lips, arms, legs, maybe just like we stomachs are. and livers and kidneys. We are. We are. Yeah. And we're the only one that is littered with obesity and chronic diseases and a fast track to early death, except every other animal. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to dieting, we are probably the dumbest animals isn't, on this earth. Isn't that so ironic though? It really yeah. is. When it, comes to, when it comes to our health, yeah. we are by far the dumbest animal on this earth. So I've got an amazing fact for you. Okay, there, are, there are one million species of animals on this earth. 
One million species, amphibians, birds, fish, insects, mammals, and reptiles. Okay. Out of all one million, we are the only one that has ongoing obesity, chronic diseases, and again, early death. That's crazy, Scott. Out of all of them, there's only one. No other animals have any issues with chronic death. For example, we have heart disease, and we have strokes, and we have cancer, and we have all these diseases. Well, in animals, they don't have any of that. There are no diseases directly related to any animals. Because they don't have chocolate cake. Yeah. <laughs> and, and here as humans, we are just littered with tons of chronic diseases. Right. So when I realized that, a, really a light bulb went off for me. I said, that's it. None of them are overweight. None of them have any kind of health issues. And here I am with them. Right. So rather than studying all animals, I made it simple. I found our closest living relative happens to be an animal. Mm -hmm. So it was perfect. It was so easy to study chimpanzees. So when I started studying chimps, first of all, I looked at their digestive system. Well, another fact, we're 99% like a chimp. We're almost exactly like mm -hmm. our digestive systems. When you look at the inside of us and the inside of a chimp, we're, big, we're exactly the same. Mm -hmm. There's no difference at all. So you would think that that's how we should be eating. Right. If we have the exact same stomach and acids and enzymes, and the exact same liver and pancreas secreting the exact same things, same hormones, why, why, why did we, where did we get our diet from? We know they've got theirs from 10 million years of uh, all good, positive results. Right, and they haven't changed. They haven't changed. But we have. Right. Big time. We so it have. seems like you could hear, well, this diet and this mm -hmm. diet, we've heard about cavemen, and we heard about snowmen and all these other ones. But in reality, I, I'm going to go with the chimps. You know, I think that we, we know that they've been doing it, and we know they're still doing it, and we right. know it's working for them. Right, and they eat. High nutrient raw foods. They eat great foods. Yeah. They eat the five best food groups that we would eat, mm -hmm. that we should be eating. Mm -hmm. They eat fruits, mm -hmm. berries, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. So simple. Really simple. So just a quick note is what they don't eat. They don't eat any meat. Right. Chimpanzees are not carnivores. Right. Uh, another quick fact, you put every animal on earth into three categories. Carnivores, herbivores, and omnivores. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at humans, we have nothing alike any carnivore on this earth. We're opposite of carnivores. We're exactly like every herbivores. And chimpanzees are exactly like that. Right. Some people may say they eat some ants or some or a dead, dead, dead litter or some <laughs> bugs, but okay, you know, we're, we're not, we're not going to call that really meat eaters. <laughs> but yeah, I guess you could if you Those would. Those are kind of like their treats. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, no, no other animals milk, you know, right. take the milk of right. another species. Uh, right. Which humans are the only ones where we yes. melt cows, of course, and then of course we process that. First we pasteurize it, and then we turn it into just about every right. delicious thing under the sun. Right. And it's not good for us and causes all sorts of inflammation. Yeah, it's just something we shouldn't be eating. Yeah. So we know that no animals on earth or chimps don't milk cows, so I, I, I think that's a, a good note that we shouldn't be either. Okay, so you change your diet. Yes. Then you studied the chimps, yeah. you decided that you needed to eat healthier, maybe more whole foods, yes. berries, nuts, seeds, yeah. fruits and veggies, and now we have chimp food. So yeah. tell me how you got from there to chimp food. Well, after realizing what I should eat, you know, it's easy studying chimps and saying what they should eat, mm -hmm. I laid all that food out on my kitchen counter. Uh -huh. And of course, there's no stoves or ovens or microwaves out there in nature, so I couldn't cook any of that. Right. And uh, I started realizing too very early that chimps don't peel bananas, they don't peel oranges. Mm -hmm. When they see that pineapple, they just bite right into that whole thing, husk and all. Right. And so uh, it, it wasn't the most palatable for me, to be honest with you. But uh, it hit me one day, let me just throw it in my blender. So uh, I figured out how much I went by the, the food pyramid. Mm -hmm. you know, the USDA says we should eat five cups or five servings of fruits, right. five servings of veggies, five servings of uh, berries handful of nuts and seeds. So I put that out there, I threw it in my blender, peels and all. Mm -hmm. Orange peels, the orange peels seeds, the banana peel, uh, on my strawberries. Uh, if there's some little green leaves mm -hmm. on the strawberries, it goes right on in there as well. If there's a stem on the apple or a stem mm -hmm. on the cherry, I realize they just eat the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So I threw it all in my blender and I poured it into a cup. You know, I did that close my eyes, did that, and it was delicious. It was delicious. When you don't cook veggies and you don't cook nuts or mm -hmm. seeds, when they're raw, they're very bland. Mm -hmm. But on the other side of it, the zest of an orange oh, and yeah. all those other things, those fruits and berries zing with flavor. So that's right. all it tasted like. It just tasted like 
re, like a, a fruit punch right. almost. And we know because I am an essential oil instructor that you have the, the oil from the zest of the fruits, which is really very right. powerful and very healing. Yeah. Well, nuts and seeds are loaded with yeah. oils as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you put it in your blender, you drank it, and you said, oh my gosh, this is amazing. You didn't. Well, um, to be honest with you, I love the convenience of it. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, by making this, I made a week's worth it's of supply. <laughs> I, I made a week's worth at a time, right. and the convenience was wonderful. Uh, I was maybe a little bit, but I just I just went straight on it, just drinking it straight up because I wanted to eat raw whole food. Mm -hmm. I knew this is what every animal's drink eating, right. drinking, right. Uh, and so that's what I wanted to do. And I didn't want to do a piece. Some of the I could eat the broccoli and some of the nuts, right. but when I really did the whole thing, I just decided to put it together. Okay. And um, instantly. I felt better. Mm -hmm. My weight just, I lost two pounds a day, two pounds a day Amazing. continuously. Mm -hmm. For 50 straight days, I just lost two pounds a day. Mm -hmm. My eyesight got to be better, my hearing got to be better. I see and I feel so much different now. Mm -hmm. I feel vibrant, I'm alive. Uh, my energy levels through the roof. And I, I sleep. can attest to that Scott's yeah. energy level. Like sitting here, you feel like his energy just coming out. And again, this is life. all new. I mean, this is, yeah. you haven't eaten a standard American diet. I was just a, yeah. a normal dude for a long time. And now I feel just super uh, enthusiastic, super passionate, super just great mm -hmm. feeling. I see very vibrant, I hear very right, vibrant, right. and it's gone good. So I've been on it, uh, a lot of people started getting, getting going with the program too, right. and uh, they won't convince me I should make a product into it and get out there and, and, and get working on it. And he did, and look I at did. so let's talk a little bit, well we're going to try some chip yeah. food, but let's talk about, we've got four different flavors. Well, um, I, there's five fruits, five veggies, five nuts, five seeds in each one of them. Mm -hmm. So rather than eating 25 foods, I knew there was a lot of other fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. out there, so I just made other flavors. Mm -hmm. This one's based upon apple. Mm -hmm. This has an overwhelming apple taste. Mm -hmm. This is overwhelming grape taste. Mm -hmm. This is pineapple and orange. So they're, and they all have different ingredients. Right. So if you looked at the ingredient levels, by the time you drink these, you almost get 100 different foods. Mm -hmm. There are not uh, five, five. There's not 20 different berries right. out there, so some of the ingredients do overlap. Sure. sure. But so this one is with orange. So we could tell me you could take one and just drink it for the day, or you could totally replace everything you eat. How yes. should someone do that? Yeah. If it, just like you just said, you could very simply just replace your breakfast with one of these, or mm -hmm. lunch with one of these, mm -hmm. or a snack with one of mm -hmm. these. Uh, replace replace a meal, or you could have two a day. Maybe people might start with one a day, mm -hmm. one, seven days a week. Mm -hmm. Try and get one down for breakfast, then maybe for lunch, and then for dinner, and maybe you know, uh, to good health. To you know, you health. can you can uh, do do the whole program. I think first I'm gonna taste it. Let's see I've what, had it before, so I know I like it. it. Mm. It's a great way of getting veggies. Well, that's the beauty of it, Scott, because. So many people find it so hard, especially to get veggies in, and we know how good they are for the body. They're detoxing, they're healing, nutrient-dense food. This is such a simple way to get it in right. your diet. You don't yeah. have to do anything. I love it because I have a lot of clients that I coach, and when I talk about making green smoothies, they're like, oh, but I have to clean the blender. This mm. solves the whole problem. Yeah, this solves the problem, no doubt about it. It's nice and easy and it's simple. And as you said, it just tastes great. It goes down great. Mm -hmm. And you get your nuts and your seeds, and it's all weighed and balanced. Sometimes mm -hmm. with some diets, and even if you're juicing at home, and again, this isn't juice. This is whole, raw, right. whole food. Very, very different. Very, very different from juicing. No animal on this earth right. just squeezes an orange and drinks only the, the tasty, tasty right. bit out of it. Mm -hmm. And um, you really get all the nutrients in there. It fills you up for a long, long time. All right. It just feels great. Well, and the bar too. You have a bar. You want to try a little bit Let's of a try bar? Let's the bar. This one is... A nut bar. A nut bar. Nuts and seeds. Everything in there. This is great for people to have in their purse, yeah. in a gym bag. So what we did is we did a full day supply of nuts. So this is a bar with a reason. Mm -hmm. It's not just a bar for this, that, mm -hmm. or the other. This is a full day supply of nuts. Mm -hmm. Almonds, cashews, pecan, pistachios, and walnuts, mm -hmm. and it's mixed only with dates. Love so there's it. only six ingredients in here. As simple as that. And, about clean eating. And it's a full day supply of nuts. Yeah. So again, as Ryan read, as long as you like how it tastes. Mm -hmm. I love nuts. 
So yeah. I love it. And the it's dates, delicious. And the dates is such really a different good. flavor for us, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. well, great snack. And it's going to fill you up, mm -hmm. which is what I love. And you're going to be having that energy all day long. Mm -hmm. All right, stop. Give you something to wash it down with. Mm -hmm. We'll water it down. All right, I wanted to say thank you for being here today. Oh, and I you. wanted to let everyone also know one, where they can find Chimp Food. Do you have a website? Mm. You have to go to our website, chimpfood.com. And we have about 20 some retail locations. Mm -hmm. uh, you click on the word retail locations, it's all done by city. Okay, great. And you're on Facebook too? Oh, we have a great Facebook yeah. page. Every single day, uh, we put up something, a new location, something about the ingredients. We adopted a chimp, so we talked a little That's bit about, cool. about Melody on there Aww. and some events. Right. In fact, you've asked me to speak at your event, Rock yes. Your Inner Goddess. Yes, Scott's going to be a featured speaker on the God panel yeah. at the Rock Your Inner Goddess weekend. And you can go to rockyourinnergoddess.com to find out mm -hmm. more about the weekend because we are going to be having an awesome time rocking your body, rocking your mind, rocking the mm. goddess. Yeah. It's going to be great. So, Scott, thank yes. you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me. I'd love to have you back because yeah. I know you're a wealth of knowledge and have so much more to share with everybody yeah. on health and nutrition. Simple, easy, basic knowledge I think we yeah. all can understand. Yeah. All right. That's all I try and do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank all right, you. Thank you. Bye-bye. We'll see you in the next episode. I'm going to finish my chimp food bar. Bye-bye. <laughs>